So hello, my name is Aurora Ramos, I work for Atos, and I'm going to provide a brief overview of the e-licensing management framework that we have designed and implemented as part of the Fagi Zorro project. We all know by now that uh, Fagi relies strongly on subarization of networks, uh, network of function virtualization, and anything as a service. That's why uh, Fagi, uh, Fagi um, sorry, software providers uh, uh, have entered the Fagi ecosystem offering um, software products that implement network functionalities that, those, uh, that are called VNFs, uh, virtual network functions. Due to the sober nature of these um, uh, network functions, they can be replicated quite easily in different network services, in a multi-domain environment, in the different parts of the networks. But this is bringing important challenges regarding management and control. Also, these software providers need to materialize their revenue um, uh, for the, the investment that they have done in the development and the associated intellectual property rights. And that's why we have created this e-license manager um, asset first uh, to uh, provide, to allow the, the, software, pro, the software providers uh, to keep track of the users of the products in real time so they can get a profitable and, and a fair revenue for, for the, uh, associated to the licensing cost. A second and very important as well is a mechanism to increase the trust between the software providers and the, the stakeholder acquiring that software that will be typically a network service provider, a network operator that will be deploying that uh, virtual network function onto their uh, networks. Because um, the network operator uh, will be able to know in advance uh, how that VNF has performed previously uh, and also about the performance of other VNFs of the same uh, software providers. So um, in the figure in the top, we have how the uh, e-license manager interact with other uh, components in Fagi Zorro uh, system. Uh, on the left, we see that the software provider and, uh, um, uh, and the stakeholder acquiring that, uh, that product will be creating a, a smart contract based on DLT technology. And uh, a BNF and the associated license, licensing uh, policies will be stored in the Fagi Zorro marketplace. The marketplace will be notifying the e-license manager when the new BNF is coming. And the e-licensing manager we, uh, will be creating what we have called a watcher, which, a which is a specific monitoring process associated or defined by the BNF and the associated BNF licensing policies. At this sensation time, the VNF um, uh, will be about to start and the watcher will be checking if the VNF is in alignment with the uh, licensing policies. If that happens, the VNF will start running and the watcher will be still alive, keeping track of all the licensing metrics, its expiration time, uh, any breaches that may be uh, happening. In the figure below, we have the internal components of the license manager. It has been implemented uh, with loosely coupled microservices uh, following a cloud native approach uh, with minimal, small, uh, with minimal uh, footprint. Let's say the, the, the boxes in blue are the functional blocks that are implemented in three main microservices, uh, which are the white boxes. We have the translator that uh, do the mapping uh, between uh, the, business, um, uh, the business agreements and the actual workflows that the e-license manager needs to implement. Then we have the watcher manager that actually manages the life cycle of the watcher, launching a, a new watcher when a new VNF is arriving at the marketplace. And then we have uh, components to manage the communication, the internal com asynchronous communication uh, between the components, that's the event handle, and then the notification manager for the uh, communication with the rest of the components of the, um, uh, of the file source system. Uh, some highlights to finalize uh, for this uh, license manager. It's uh, important that, uh, to highlight that uh, supports multi-domain um, uh, synchronization. That means that uh, we have uh, one uh, instance of the license manager needs domain, so they synchronize uh, among them. 
provides a customizable licensing metrics. That means that we uh, can have personalized metrics for this uh, for different business stakeholders, depending on their interest. They can use subscription mode or pay as you grow. Uh, is um, uh, fully automated in the sense that no human intervention is uh, needed. We use uh, programmatic interfaces. It's compatible with any kind of network function. Agnostic to the NFBO, we use uh, one NF uh, NFBO concrete in Faye Zorro, but can be used with, uh, with other. Also agnostic to the infrastructure, and as um, said, uh, is um, created uh, with minimal small, small uh, footprint, given the, um, the cloud native approach. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.